I figured I would do my video today from what my friends and I quite cynically and sarcastically call the uh, Jeffrey Epstein Memorial Fountain. Uh, this is out in front of the now defunct Imperial Pacific International or IPI Hotel and Casino. It's a gigantic eyesore in the middle of uh, Saipan's commercial district. It's the tallest building in the Commonwealth, I, I believe, uh, and a completely unfinished hotel. It was going to be one of the largest casinos in the world. Uh, shut down in 2020 when everything shut down and now uh, massive legal wrangling and has cost untold amounts of uh, capital and now who knows how it's it's in such a derelict condition at this point you can see the everything peeling off the children there the children dancing Jeffrey Epstein Memorial Fountain um, yeah it's a temple to mammon pretty much and and it really is a monument to the combination of economic ignorance and greed. When the two of them come together, it can really create some very terrible outcomes that initially maybe seem like they're really great. I think it's a great analogy, really, a metaphor for the types of things that we see in crypto. And especially now that we're in a crash, sorry that my, uh, my video, my last video, I haven't done another one in about a week. Things have been crazy busy here because those of us who are actually building, not with some economic knowledge and not greed, and building for the long term, uh, projects that we've been working on for like two years now are coming to fruition. As they, as they grind through the process, a lot of them are connected to the government. So we are trying to pull ourselves uh, out of some of these situations, and a lot of it is just about orientation. And a lot of it is about having uh, some economic knowledge, and it's just basic economic knowledge. But what I wanted to do a video about is sort of a follow-up to my last video, because the last video was really talking about paying attention and giving attention to the currency aspect, particularly USDT, the stablecoin, the currency aspect of what's going on in the world of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency when it relates to the price, these sort of bull and bear markets and how nobody really pays attention to the currency aspect. Uh, and the fact that, as the title of this video is keying in on, Bitcoin, the price of Bitcoin, is not in US dollars, it's in USDT or Tether. Apropos of that, I should mention, Bitcoin Mystery School, the currency curriculum, August 23rd, 24th, and 25th. I have a feeling, again, based upon the things that I've been doing here and where timelines are, I have a feeling that this might be the last Bitcoin Mystery School class that I'm able to do, maybe indefinitely, because things are about to get super busy. This was something that I, I picked up over the last several months because there was a little bit of a lull and I knew that these uh, timelines were gonna converge. Now it looks like about four projects all at once and Bitcoin Mystery School really takes it out of me. So we do have a few slots left. I would advise if you had even been thinking about it, if it even sounds interesting to you, now is the time to do it. BitcoinMysterySchool.com. Okay, that being said, what are we looking at when we look at Tether? Remember that I had said, that we need to be paying attention to the supply and demand as it comes, oh, it's very bright. The supply and demand as it uh, relates to price, not just of the asset, let's say BTC Bitcoin in this case, but we need to talk about the supply and demand of the currency. BTC being based, being denominated in USDT, not USD, but USDT. USDT being a crypto token itself, so being a crypto asset or good itself. We had our crash, right? I said, this means there is greater demand. Go back and watch the, vi the video. Totally predicted and let you know what's gonna happen. I said, this means that there is greater demand happening for the USDT. And I also said in there, this allows greater printing of the currency. Was there greater printing? Yes, indeed, $1.5 billion worth of tether. 1.5 billion tethers were added to the market. And what happened? The price went back up because you add currency into the market, the prices go up, it's inflation. We get to see it in a microcosm, folks, if you're paying attention. 
Now what just happened? What did they say today? So we had a let, it went up a little bit, leveled back off at 60, 60,000 BTC. Now it's starting to edge down as I'm uh, saying this is about 58, maybe 59, trading sideways. And the news today from Coindesk that I just read, blockchain analytics firms have said one billion, there's been 1 billion tokens, USDT outflow, specifically USDT, 1 billion tokens worth of outflow yesterday. Meaning when they compared, because they can know the addresses of the, the um, exchanges, when they compared how much was going in in terms of USDT and how much was coming out, they saw the the difference between the two was one billion to the side of taking it out, storing it in, because you could store it in your own custodial wallet. This all, this indicates two things. One, a desire to put money under the mattress, a desire for the dollars, remember what I said, instead of the gold or the assets, the BTC, the oil, whatever it is, the stocks, the securities. So demand for the dollars and a lack of faith in the exchanges. That right there is gonna precipitate a further downward move. One of the things that people have been talking about is they said, what's missing is narratives. Narratives are missing. We don't see the BTC narratives. In other words, people are losing the hypnosis from the cult. The cult narratives have worn off or they've proven to be completely ineffective and lies. History has proven them out as lies and investors are not falling for it anymore. And they can't get new blood in. They've kind of met their level. So what's important now, though, what you see is demand for USDT, the currency. Currency curriculum, I'd love to see you there because that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the history, the trends, the evolution. How do we get from, say, the shekels in the Bible to USDT? And it's a line, a straight line that we can draw. And then what does it mean? USDT was, of course, issued on Bitcoin. Tether is Bitcoin's killer app. We, if we want to talk about what does it mean for a CBDC, what does it mean for these stablecoin laws, what is going on in the world of currency, the currency wars that I've talked about, which is what we have. World War III is a currency war and it's in full swing. Dollars are a weapon. Vladimir Putin says the U.S. has weaponized the dollar. Specifically, he's talking about the payment platforms and systems. What does all of this mean? It's important to understand. So I'll see you then in what? About a week and a half, Bitcoin Mystery School, August 23rd, 24th, 25th. Go check us out, bitcoinmysteryschool.com. I will have more videos as we go through this up until then because we're hitting a very interesting time. And there are some narratives, but the narratives are around currency. They are around what we would call stable coins. I'm going to be one of the only people talking about that. So let's engage on it. Let's have a conversation. Join our Bitcoin Mystery School group. I'll see you there.